Class First Pilots Medical Certificate by Dariusz Krasnicki from Poland. Hi, my name is Dariusz Krasnicki and I am a Polish aviation doctor approved by the President of the Civil Aviation Authority of Republic of Poland to examine first class pilots for revalidation and renewal examinations. Unfortunately, I am not entitled to perform initial examinations. To apply for a class 1 medical, you will have to visit an aeromedical center to attend an assessment with an aeromedical examiner. And in this video, I will tell you a few words about what can you expect during my EASA medical examination. You must provide me a photographic identity document and a copy of the last aviation medical fitness certificate If the medical examination is not your first examination or was not performed in my clinic. Without these documents, I cannot start the whole procedure. You should tell me if you have previously failed a class 1 pilot medical examination or about any significant condition you may have or medical treatment you are undergoing at the time of the examination. I have to take into account the potentially hazardous nature of flying, which calls for a high standard of health and continuing fitness. Also your age and experience as a pilot, nature of the duties to be performed and the plane's itinerary. You should be free from any condition which precludes air travel or could be seriously affected by it. Medical treatment of diseases that are not chronic should be completed before a health certificate is issued. When you are booking your appointment, you can mention any personal or family medical conditions you are aware of, and I can advise you if you need to bring additional medical records for your examination. If you are wearing glasses or contact lenses, I can advise you on additional information you need to bring with you. Also bring a recent report from your optician. On the day of my examination, you will be required to fill out the medical certificate application form, which includes details about your medical history, your last medical examination, and if you have ever been deemed unfit or had your medical certificate revoked or suspended. Thorough documentation of all medications and conditions being treated must be documented. Any non-chronic conditions being treated at the time of the exam will negate fit-for-duty status until the treatment is completed. Before coming to my office, you are supposed to perform some blood tests and general urine examination. Some of them, but not all, include glucose, cholesterol, triglycerides, creatinine, etc. Results of complete blood count. Other blood tests are performed individually, dependent on the state of your health, especially presence of chronic diseases. Take all your laboratory tests performed earlier for a comparison. My medical center is located on the outskirts of Wroclaw, next to the local highway. This location provides our guests with an easy access to the clinic. There is a big parking area next to my office. What to expect at your Renewal Medical Class 1? Vision examination, measuring eye sights and vision, color vision, very important, blind spots or any issues with your vision that could prevent you from performing your duties as a pilot. Measuring hearing through an audiogram or speech, checking sinuses, balance test. Assessment of the heart with an ECG includes rest and exercise ECG or USG if required. General health exam contains of listening to the heart and lungs, checking reflexes, checking range of motion, final assessment of fitness for service. Even though if you are afraid of the negative outcome of your examination, Always tell me the truth, because if you don't, you can end up in a legal question if you had lied at something that happens. Thank you for your listening 
Dariusz Krasnicki from Wrocław in Poland was speaking. Comment the video below.